Right. Okay, Erev, Erev Tov, everyone. Thanks so much. Our learning tonight should be a zakot uh, for a refua shlima for all those in need and for the hatzacha of Am Yisrael. Uh, so as uh, it is Chodesh Kislev and Hanukkah is around the corner, uh, I wanted to discuss a little bit about uh, some inyane Hanukkah, um, tangentially related to Hanukkah, um, but also perhaps very timely. And that is the concept of the Mikdash. And we know that the one thing that the Yevanim tried to attack um, was the Mikdash itself. They, they were Metame the Mikdash, and they also attacked our Torah. Uh, they have shichu einem shal Yisrael. That is what Yavan was known for. That is the choshech that is referred to, referred to uh, in the first sukkim of Bereshis. Choshech al chanei tehom, uh, referring Chazal say refers to Yavan, which brought choshech into into the world. Am I able to be heard? Just want to confirm. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, and there is an interesting connection between those two concepts: the concept of mikdash and the concept of Torah. Those two things often come hand in hand in our tefillah. At the end of Shemona Esrei, every day, we say, Yehira Salmon Fanecha, Hashem Elokeinu, Elokei Avoteinu, which should be Hashem's will, Shei Yibane Beis HaMikdash, B'Meira. We ask Hashem to rebuild the Beis HaMikdash, and also, V'Tein Chalkeinu B'Toratecha, and to allow us to uh, to give us our portion uh, in Torah. And the question is, why is it that those two concepts, Torah and Mikdash, go Hand in hand, what does one have to do with the other? Why, when I am asking for the Beit HaMikdash, am I all of a sudden asking for my chilek in Torah? And the Maharal presents a beautiful idea. He says, really, these two concepts, Mikdash and Torah, um, are really two levels, one above the other. They are very similar to, within the human body, the way our heart and the way our brain interact. Because the Maharal explains that the Mikdash, is the heart of the world. The mikdash is what gives life to the rest of the world. And just like our heart is what gives life to the rest of our bodies, it pumps blood to the rest of our bodies. Um, so that being the most kadosh place on earth is the place that uh, is unfortunately uh, very sought after and very fought over. Uh, our enemies try, uh, try to lay claim to that area because of its uh, its uniqueness and because of its uh, its lofty spiritual potential um, and that is the significance of the mikdash but on top of that is the torah the torah is not the heart but the torah is the seichel of the world the torah is hashem's chachma the torah tells us just like our seichel is the sechli part of our body the uh, our thoughts our chachma is the is the more spiritual uh, part of our body that is torah to the world hashem's chachma the way the way we are supposed to live the way we are supposed to guide our lives and it is also that that the ibanim tried to attack they, so they uh, try, they were machshich enenu from our torah they tried to get rid of our torah and they tried to attack our our heart so really the fact that we mention each of these things in one tefillah really really makes sense sheibane beis hamikdash give us our heart and allow us to have our allow us to have our moach. And perhaps this gives us some some perspective on on the history on why people are are fighting for Al Aqsa and why our enemies are trying to lay claim to to the heart of the world because that is this is the center of the world, the not only the geographical center, but really the spiritual center of the world. And uh, we dive in that we should be able to to return to that center. Uh, in the way that it is supposed to be, and that place should continue to uh, pump blood, to pump life to the rest of the world. And when Am Yisrael is fully back in Eretz Yisrael, we will be able to uh, shed the light, spread the light throughout Eretz Yisrael and throughout the world. Be'ezrat Hashem. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, same time, same place tomorrow night. Hope to see everybody there.